Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to go and get NR2003 uh, in 2024 and beyond. Uh, as you can probably tell, this is a game that came out in like 2003, so it's 20 plus years old at this point, so it's going to be a little bit different on installing it than it was 20 years ago, so I'm going to give you the modern day way of installing it here. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is open up the download folder here by extracting it. You may need to go and grab WinRAR for it. Uh, I personally just use WinRAR, so I already have it all ready. I'll have a link uh, in the description if you want to go get WinRAR there. Uh, but you'll go and get that, and once you've extracted it, we're going to go through the folders, and we're going to pick the Step 1 folder. Same thing here, we're going to go and extract the NR2003 game here, which will now give us this folder. And we're going to go in here, it's going to have a bunch of different things in this folder, but what we're going to be looking for is the setup. Uh, it's an application. Uh, make sure you're grabbing that one, not the configuration, but the actual application. And we're going to open that up and run it. I will turn that down. Uh, I'll turn that down post because it is going to be a little bit loud. Uh, so just be aware there is a jump scare engine sound. Just wants to make sure that you can hear WAV files or if they need to install something for you to be able to hear that. Again, 2003, this wasn't something that was something that was commonly there. So you'll go through uh, like a regular installer and then you'll get to the CD key and for the CD key what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be getting the CD key RAB2 and then RAB2 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 and then 8869 is your last one nice and then you're just going to continue to go through with the regular installation uh, like you would with uh, most normal games and stuff uh, again might be a little bit new to some people if you've never installed a game like this before uh, that's kind of how it was back in the day it'll ask you if you want to add a shortcut for NR 2003 season here so adding a desktop shortcut Make sure you click no on this one because it can cause some issues. Normally you'd want to register products. These were things you know back in 2003 that you do uh, because the uh, company's all shut down now because this is 20 years later. You won't ha be able to do that, so we're just going to do no. Uh, checking for updates. Again, we don't need to do that. I'm going to show you kind of what we are doing for checking for updates. Again, super old game those servers aren't available anymore for those updates. Uh, you uh, don't need to go and restart your computer. You'll just go finish. And then that's all good to go there. So the next step that we will do here is we're going to go back a folder, back a folder, back a folder until we get to our step one, two, three folders again. Go into step two. And now we're going to install the patch. Now, normally, back in the day, you'd be able to just grab this patch off the internet uh, during the install there. Because the servers no longer have this uh, patch, you'll have to manually do it. And that's why we're going and doing this. So going through regular things, accepting the uh, terms and conditions and everything like that. Here is the uh, readme of all the things that the patch fixes. You can go through that. Or there's also a readme that you can get at the end of all this. So we're just going to go through, make sure you have the correct destination folder. Um, I just by put to my by default put it on my C drive. You may be putting it to your D drive if you have like a D drive for your games. So you just have to manually configure that if you need be. And then we're going to go and let that go through. And then from here we can read the view the readme file if you want to see all the patch updates. We're just going to continue on, and then step two is now complete. So now if we go back a folder into our step three folder, this is the no CD patch. Back in like 2003, most computers had a CD uh, drive where you could put CDs in. 
modern day computers generally don't have that. So that's what this patch fixes is. This is kind of the patch for the modern day computers. So we're gonna go and do all of that. And then when you go through, you're gonna have a original and a patch folder. Uh, so what I will usually do here is I will uh, open up a, another folder here. So uh, let's just grab another folder. There, it's popping up on my other screen here. So we're gonna go in and find our papyrus folder, which is where we installed it. There's our NR2003. And then what I always do for this one is I will just go find the NR2003 application right here. We're gonna right click and we're just gonna go and cut that. Let's shrink this down so we can go over here. I'll open up my original folder paste it in there. You don't have to do this, but you do want to get rid of this NR2003 from the actual folder, so either delete it. I like to keep it in the original folder just so I still have my original. In the event that I decide to get like a CD drive, I can put my CD in and run it off the CD. Uh, but like I said, I don't have a CD drive on my computer, so I'm going to kind of assume everyone else is the same way and they do not have one. So now we can confirm it's no longer in here, which is what we want. We're going to go back a folder. So we have the original patch. We're going to go into the patch. Then we're going to take this guy. I just copy it just so I still have a copy of this in the event I need it. And then we're going to go and pull open our NR2003 folder. And we're going to paste this guy in. And then you should see it in here. And then from there, you should just be able to click on it. And it should pull up the game for us here. Now the initial times can take a little bit of time because uh, it's got to run through the graphics configuration. Uh, I'm going to max this guy out. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's the one that wants. Make sure I have graphics card selected and DirectX. Now it's going to run the uh, graphic settings here to make sure that everything works. That's what you can see there. And then it should give you a thing saying, hey, it's all good. And it should just boot up. Now it's going to want you to calibrate your controller. Uh, I don't have anything plugged in here, so... I'm just going to be... running off of keyboard. Now, uh, a few things here. Uh, if it crashes when you click drive there, or when you click to go into here, or when you click drive like this. One of the problems that that can sometimes be is you didn't go in the correct order. Uh, you did step three instead of the step two folder first. Uh, so make sure you've done that all correctly. And I'll see how good I can do on the keyboard here. But that's usually the biggest problem I see with people using it. Uh, the other issue that you can sometimes run into uh, is the no CD patch that you got is incorrect. Either you can have the same one that I had. Uh, I can show you though how to tell if you have the correct one or not. So we're gonna go and back out of this here like I said, if you're ever having the game crash when you first get into the game, or if you 
uh, like when you first run the application, you get past that first little kind of cinematic cutscene there. Or when you hit drive, uh, this is usually what the error is. Uh, so if you go in here and go properties, the size of this one should be 3.63 megabytes. So if you are seeing something different than this, uh, it's using like a older no CD patch, uh, which will sometimes crash it, or you have not updated to the correct uh, update that I have there. Uh, and it might be like the no CD patch for a later version of the uh, updates. So that's the big thing to look at there. Um, if you're getting crashing issues, double check to make sure this is the size of your no CD patch uh, file. Because uh, there's a, quite a few of them floating around for different versions. Um, and this is the version that we're using here. Uh, and with that, you should have a working game. It works online and stuff. So uh, you'll have to have an IP address uh, to the server that you're connecting with. Uh, so if you're playing with friends, like you have to open up ports and all that. Uh, that can be covered in another video. Uh, but what I would suggest taking a look at for the next video, uh, just up on the corner here, is how to improve the graphics so you can make them go from being super blurry to crystal clear.